Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a science fiction horror film, Oxygen. Spoiler is ahead, watch out and take care. A lab rat is seen trapped in a maze, foreshadowing the events to come. Then the scene changes to a dark red lit pod, where a lady is seen trapped in a cocoon. After seeing visions of lab rats being experimented on, she wakes up. She gasps for air as her cocoon makes it hard for her to breathe. She moves around and forcefully breaks the cocoon. She manages to remove the cocoon around her body. After removing the cocoon, she sees that her body is strapped in with medical devices. She removes some of them, feeling pain in the process. After removing the devices, the cocoon and devices withdraw from her. She gets her bearings and starts to cry out for help. Nobody answers as she starts banging inside the pod. Suddenly, the pod lights up and introduces itself as Milo. She asks Milo what's happening as she can't remember anything. Milo tells her that she is inside a cryogenic pod. Milo also points out that her pod is broken and the oxygen level is depleting. She asks him to let her out, but Milo could not grant her request. She then remembers parts of her memories of her being brought to the hospital. She thinks that she is in the hospital and continues to call for help outside. Unfortunately, nobody replies as she is seen isolated, judging from her pod's ventilation system. She calms down and thinks about other ways to get out. She asks Milo if her broken pod is reported to the respective personnel. Milo tells her that her pod's defect has been reported, but no response about it is received. She starts panicking again as she gets claustrophobic. She starts hallucinating, seeing visions of labs and experiments. Suddenly, visions of her past with her friends and families come into view. As she calms down, she tries to find out about her identity. She asks Milo what her patient's registry is, and Milo replies that she is Omicron 267. She tries to dig deeper and asks for the full details of her label Omicron 267. Milo only replies with her being Omicron 267 and does not give any other information. She instead asks for Milo to show her appearance. She then looks and inspects her appearance in a hologram. Suddenly, visions of her husband come into view. She asks Milo one more time about her name, but he still doesn't comply. She gives up on asking and proceeds to try to recollect her thoughts. She remembers a vision of her daughter playing in a forest. As she tries to dream about her visions in her sleep, Milo interrupts. Milo tells her that her oxygen level is decreasing and advises her to reduce her consumption. She then gets a vision of her gasping for air if oxygen runs out. A lab rat is also seen having the same condition as her in the vision. She tries not to think about it and asks Milo why she is in the pod. Milo offers her medical diagnosis. She accepts and Milo proceeds to search for her diagnosis. However, the medical diagnosis is unavailable. She then begs Milo to let her out of the pod. Milo almost let her out, but she lacks the proper admin password to unlock the pod. She panics as she keeps banging on the pod, demanding Milo to let her out. She then thought of an idea to call the outside using Milo. After a while, she manages to get in touch with the police. The police operator asks about her situation, and at first, the operator doesn't believe her because of her lack of identity. However, he eventually realizes she is being serious and learns that she doesn't remember anything. She panics, but the operator calms her down and instructs her to help her escape. The operator asks her about what she remembers first. However, she insists that she can't remember anything. The operator then asks for her location, but she tells him she doesn't know. She then asks Milo for the location of the pod. Milo replies that it is unavailable. She asks the operator if he could track the call instead. However, the operator says that tracking her is difficult. She thinks that she can't be tracked because she might be underground. She panics thinking about this, and the operator calms her down again. The operator then asks for the model of the pod. This will serve as an alternate tracking method for her. She tells the operator the model ID, which is made by cryosolide. The operator tries to track it, but still has difficulties. The operator decides to bring her incident to his superior. She gets anxious because of the silence when her call is transferred to another line. Suddenly, her call gets disconnected and she becomes anxious. She tries to solve her identity problem instead of as a distraction from her anxiety. She thinks of commands to give to Milo so she can find out her identity. She decides to command Milo to run a DNA scan on her. Milo's DNA scan is completed and shows her much information about herself from the DNA scan. 
She discovers that her full name is Elizabeth Hansen, Liz for short, and that she is a scientist. She starts remembering the rest of her memories. However, Liz is interrupted when an explosion from outside her pot alerts her. She starts calling outside for help, in case there are people near the area. Suddenly, Liz gets a new call from Captain Morrow, her new contact from outside. Morrow asks about her situation in full detail. Liz explains about her defective pod, and Morrow asks her about its oxygen level. Liz tells him that her oxygen level is at 31%. However, Milo gives her the bad news that she has 72 minutes left to reach oxygen level zero if she breathes moderately. Morrow hears this and starts interrogating her for a potential suspect who might have trapped her there. Liz doesn't suspect anyone that might want to hurt her. Instead, she thinks that Morat was hiding something from her. She becomes uncooperative, thinking that they are the ones trapping her. Morrow insists that they are here to help find her, but it's just that she can't be located. Morrow reveals that the manufacturer of her cryogenic pods stated that the unit was destroyed a long time ago. This revelation shocks Liz as she goes into full panic mode. Her heart rate starts skyrocketing, and her breathing increases. Morrow tries to calm her down before she accidentally depletes her oxygen. He manages to calm her down, and Liz asks for Morrow's help. She requests Morrow to get the admin codes from the manufacturers of the pod so she can unlock it. Morrow agrees to the request, but their call suddenly gets distorted and gets disconnected. Milo tries to recover the call but fails. Liz requests for reconnection of the call, but the number becomes unavailable. She goes back into panic mode, and her breathing increases once more. However, this time Milo detects that her oxygen levels depleted faster than expected. Milo then initiates palliative care as her probability of survival is deemed zero. The palliative care protocol tries to sedate her to ease her suffering from death when oxygen depletes. Liz refuses that protocol since she still needs to focus. She avoids the sedation of Milo and attempts to break the sedation machine. After Liz struggles with the sedation machine, she takes a breather. However, her senses start fading as another sedative is used via the vents. As she regains her senses, she is surprised to see her oxygen drop to 23%. Milo tells her that 17 minutes have passed since the disconnected call. Liz loses hope for Morrow's help and decides to solve her problem herself. Liz commands Milo to show her articles about herself in hopes of finding someone close to her. She finds out that she is a cryogenic scientist experimenting on an unknown life form. Liz then checks her social media and finds out that she is married. She swipes and looks at her album with her husband. She recalls her happy memories with her husband in her imagination. Liz then asks Milo to call her husband's number. As she manages to reach his number, she is greeted by a woman. The woman is confused about Liz as she introduces herself and her husband. The woman on the other line hangs up, and Liz attempts to call again. However, the woman then blocks Liz's call. Milo suddenly warns Liz that her oxygen level has dropped again to 21%. Liz then tries to get around inside the pod to release her bindings. As she frees her legs from the bindings, she tries to force her way out of the pod. She is surprised to see a lab rat beside her near the wirings. Liz realizes that it was just a hallucination and continues to force her way out of the pod. She suddenly has an idea involving the sedation machine. She fakes her need for a sedative and lures the machine. As the machine gets closer to injecting the sedative, Liz attacks it. After catching the machine, she pulls apart the needle of the machine. Liz uses that needle to cut the soft lining of the pod to escape. Milo initiates protection protocol damage when the pod experiences a breach. Milo stocks all linings of the pod and makes Liz stop her escape plan. She has a mental breakdown as she can't find a way to escape. Moro interrupts her sad moment with the good news of getting her out. Milo again interrupts stating that her oxygen level is rapidly depleting. Liz is anxious as her senses and brain functions are messy. Morrow explains that she is experiencing a hallucinative disorder caused by a lack of oxygen. This makes Liz doubt and question everything that she hears and sees. Her memories are confusing her as well, since her memories contradict what Morrow is telling her that it isn't real. She thinks that Morrow is acting suspicious and thinks he is setting her up as a lab rat or is trapping her in the pod. Liz then hangs up the call, and visions of her husband come into view. However, this time her husband seems to have been infected with a skin disease. Her visions of her husband get worse, as she sees him getting more ill. Later, Liz and her husband get rushed to the hospital in a quarantine sector. This indicates that there is a pandemic that occurred in her memories. 
Liz remembers that she heard someone with more on the call. She investigates to find the clear details of the call. She orders Milo to enhance and play back the call's recording. Liz discovers that Mora was a part of setup that trapped her in the pod. What's more, Liz hears Mora talking to another man, and they are addressing her as a test subject. A call coincidentally comes, and Liz is furious and demands an explanation for her containment. However, Mora isn't the one at the other end, but instead, the woman from her husband's call earlier. The woman explains to her that she is launched into space and is purpose to colonize another planet. The woman reassures Liz that her memories are real, and Morrow is just trying to confuse her. Morrow is also revealed not intending to help Liz, since Cryosolide wants her to be silenced. The reasoning for that is if Liz's space colonization is made public, people will riot across the Earth for leaving them behind with a deadly virus. The deadly virus is also the same one that killed Liz's husband. Then the woman reveals herself to be the old Liz, which surprises and confuses Liz a lot. Old Liz instructs her on how to save her from the depleting oxygen, as there is no way back to Earth. Old Liz guides Liz on how to redirect the power to the necessary functions of her pod for hypersleep. However, Old Liz gets interrupted by the men from Cryosolide, who want to keep this project undercover. As Liz gets disconnected from Old Liz, she proceeds to unlock the pod. She looks around to see that there is a vessel carrying a lot of cryogenic pods. However, some are already destroyed and floating in space. Liz starts to redirect powers to all essential functions of her pod, and she deactivates the non-essential ones. One of the non-essential functions that threaten her survival is the euthanasia module. She tries to redirect its power to the essential processor of the pod. However, she couldn't deactivate the protocol, but she manages to avoid its administration when Milo activates the module for lethal injection. After she prepares for hypersleep, she discovers that her husband is alive in one of the pods, this confuses her at first, since Old Liz told her that he died due to the pandemic. She is shocked as she realizes what Old Liz meant. Liz asks Milo to run voice recognition on her call with Old Liz, and Milo gives her the result that the call was actually from herself. Liz is speechless, now that she gets to know, she and the ones at the pods are just clones. And clones like her are created and purposed to colonize the new planet, named Wolf. She has an existential crisis with this revelation but she tries to come to terms with it. After fixing the pod for hypersleep, she straps in all necessary hypersleep devices for her. She suddenly hallucinates and sees a lot of lab rats as her oxygen reaches less than 1%. Liz suits up and prepares for her journey, while Milo talks about the planet's composition. Milo presents the planet codenamed Wolf, which is larger and possibly sustainable like Earth. As Liz prepares to see her new home, Milo encases her with the cocoon from the first clip of the movie. The following scene shows her and her husband together on a beach, living happily on a new planet. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.